There was a group of staff, assistant principal, counselor, social worker that went to Boston and sat in the bond hearing. We provided over 400 letters that students wrote, postcards, um, in support of Mario and over 40 le letters that the staff wrote in support of releasing him back into our community. And they also delivered homework so he could keep oh, working. That, oh, right, yeah, right, that, yeah, that too, that too. Right, I mean, you want to keep Most me? important thing at school, yes, homework. <laughs> I'm an immigrant rights activist and I live in Mario's neighborhood. Yo soy una activista en New Haven y yo vivo en la misma vecindad donde vive Mario. A few weeks ago, a member of our community was picked up by ICE in the Milford Courthouse. His name is Mario Aguilar. He is a teenager. He is a student at Wilbur Cross High School. Mario is part of our community. Say his name! We will not stop fighting until Mario comes home. When ICE comes to New Haven, what do we do? When ICE comes to New Haven, what do we do? When immigrant youth are under attack, what do we do? When ICE comes from Mario, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We are here at the steps of City Hall, right next to the Amistad statue, which is a symbol of justice. And we're going to continue to fight for justice for young Mario. Estamos al lado de la estatua de Amistad, que representa la justicia en este país y vamos a seguir luchando por los derechos de Mario. We are going to demand that he be released so that he can go back to Wilbur Cross and he can finish his education. Are you with me? Yes! A lot of people have stepped up from the entire community to fight for Mario, including our city's mayor. Let's give it up for Mayor Tony Hart! Good afternoon, everybody. I want to thank you for your activism in the name of human rights and common decency. And while I'm pleased to be with you today, I'm angry about the reason that we're together this afternoon. Quite honestly, this nation's immigration policies are in desperate need of overhaul. And while we need to overhaul them, they're not the most important thing that we need to do in this country. 
I don't believe the people arriving in this country today are any different in their motivation than literally millions of immigrants who arrived in this country last century. These people simply want a good place to live where they won't be persecuted, where they have a chance to work and raise a family and enjoy the opportunity to pursue a peaceful existence. The relatives of virtually every American arrived in this country from a different one. Now, when by every measure of human decency, he should be here during his junior year in high school. To this level? Are we so vindictive, petty, and eager to punish that we incarcerate a teenager for what amounts to non-compliance with an administrative matter? How has immigration offense become a criminal matter to where someone is held without bond? The Trump administration said yes, it yeah. wouldn't target children yeah. in, it, in its obsession, and I believe it is an obsession with non-compliant immigrants, and yet ICE agents were lying in wait at the Milford Courthouse to seize Mario when he showed up to answer a minor traffic This administration has lied to us. It continues to lie to us day after day. So I am here with you to fight for Mario. I want you to know that tonight at midnight, if any of you want to come out, we are going to be praying for the city of New Haven and praying for Mario. You know, what kind of president turns his back on children and on our God? Thank you for being here to fight. Let's continue to fight for Mario. Will the class has stepped up to fight for one of theirs in ways that show courage and show commitment starting with the principal of Wilbur Cross, so let us give it up for Principal Edith Johnson! What do we talk about? As we come together in support of Mario Aguilar, as a high school educator, we know that in the best of circumstances, we only have four years to help our students obtain the necessary skills to navigate American society. Yeah. Our collective goal is that our students graduate with the skills for a successful post high school secondary experience. And Mario, he was on that path before he was detained by ICE. Wilbur Cross High School has always been, a, has always had a diverse student body, including students of all statuses, migrants, unaccompanied minors, refugees, asylum seekers, such as Mario, who's a teenager who enrolled at Wilbur Cross High School last October after fleeing gang, recru gang recruitment in Guatemala. I, many of you know, I'm a mother of two young boys, and I think about Mario's mom. I cry for Mario's mom. I feel for Mario's mom because she allowed her son to make this dangerous journey for a better life. And where is he now? I imagine that she took solace in her decision to let him journey and come here because she had strong enough faith and the promise of the American dream, the promise that my parents came here and gave me, the promise that I give to my children, the promise that we give to all these children. Mario is an exceptional student. He was fully engaged in the educational process. He worked over 30 hours a week. Mario, who was hundreds of miles away from his family, from his home, he got stability at school and security within this community until he was taken. Moments like this interrupt the important work. An already difficult job 
feels all more impossible when one of our students was here on Monday and gone on Tuesday. I ask for everyone here to stand up for Mario. I ask everyone here to tweet this, Facebook this, put this out there, and join us in our effort and our, in our work to bring Mario home to us. Regresemos a Mario a casa. Thank you. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. No peace. All right, Mario. It's represented by these badass lawyers from New Haven Legal Assistance, and we're gonna hear from them. Where is Dahlia Fullerhine and Ben Hanneman? Give it up! Hello, New Haven! Thank you guys for turning out today. Thank you, Fullerhine. My name is Dahlia Fullerhine. I'm an Immigrant Justice Corps Fellow at the New Haven Legal Assistance Association. I, I and my colleague Ben Haldeman are representing Mario before the Boston Immigration Court. As you know by now, Mario was detained by ICE on September 10th. He was on the steps of the Milford Courthouse where he came by himself to address charges arising from an arrest in early August. He never set foot in the courthouse and he never received his day in court. If ICE has its way, that day will never come. Instead, Mario is expected to answer his criminal charges in immigration court a forum where he is unprotected by the due process rights accorded to every person in this country in criminal court, regardless of their immigration status. He has to defend himself against criminal charges in a court where hearsay is considered as reliable as personal testimony, and where he, and not the government, bears the burden of showing that he should not be deprived of his liberty. Not only has ICE deprived Mario of his day in court, but the immigration judge has now unjustly denied him bond. Even if his criminal charges were to result in a conviction, and we do not believe that they would, Mario is still an 18-year-old high school student. If he made a mistake, we know that we have all made mistakes. He does not belong in detention. He belongs here, in his community. Exactly. <laughs> we do not believe that anyone belongs in immigration detention, but least of all those who can affirmatively show that they are not a danger to their community, nor a flight risk. In this case, the New Haven community, Mario's community, was able to create a comprehensive plan for Mario upon his release in order to alleviate any potential concerns that the immigration judge may have had about releasing Mario. The plan included commitments to provide Mario with counseling, transportation to all court hearings and other responsibilities, as well as other emotional and educational support. Unfortunately, the immigration judge gave no indication that he considered the groundswell of community support for Mario's case, including over 300 letters and postcards from teachers, classmates, friends, family, and community members supporting Mario's release on bond. Instead, relying on nothing more than an uncorroborated police report, the immigration judge chose to keep Mario locked up for the duration of his immigration proceedings, keeping him away from his family and his community, and preventing him from attending school. We will continue to fight for Mario's release and to allow him to stay here in the United States, and we are heartened by the broad community support that Mario has already received. Mario's case is but one example of the cruelty of the American immigration system. Unfortunately, Mario's situation is all too common, and we must demand an end to courthouse arrests and unjust detention in our state and throughout our country. Yeah. We, are, we are humbled by, by the strength of our community's response to Mario's detention, and now we must fight to get him justice. Uh, 
to come to the podium. I love him. He fights for justice. We are lucky to have him as our senator. Let's give it up for Senator Blumenthal. Thank you, Kika. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Kika and to all of the powerful advocates who are here today. Thank you to New Haven. Thank you to New Haven and Connecticut. Message to Donald Trump. This is what democracy looks like. And I have a message to the young people who are here today. Number one, thank you for keeping the faith and inspiring all of us and expressing your solidarity, your fidelity to the rule of law which unfortunately has been broken by holding an innocent man in detention. We need to free, free Mario, and free him now, free him now. Free Mario, free him now. So let me tell you why this detention is so abhorrent, absolutely abhorrent. I can repeat the whole thing now that you can hear me. What they did here, what they did here was apprehend Mario when he was coming to a courthouse, right? When he was showing up after he was adhering to justice. This nation owes him justice, yeah. owes him that day in court, yeah. owes him the freedom now that he deserves. Mario ought to be, Mario ought to be studying in his own home, not in effect behind bars. He should be given basic rights, not denied due process. He should be with his friends who have come here today, the people who support him in the community, not deprived of their company. So I want to make you a promise. I am going to fight for Mario. Are you? I'm going to fight for Mario. I'm going to fight for legislation that stops arrests at schools, at courthouses, in doctor's offices, in all of those locations. It's called the Protecting Sensitive Location Act. We have about 15 co-sponsors in the Senate. But you know what? We won't get a vote because Mitch McConnell is blocking it. So we have to raise our voices. We have to come together to free Mario and make the case to ICE that they have to do the right thing. And I'm going to be fighting for Mario. I know you're going to be fighting for Mario. We need to come together and again to all of the Wilbur Cross students who are here today. Thank you for showing us yes. what democracy looks like. Thank you all. Thank you for your courage and your perseverance. And we are going to free Mario. Thank you. Another champion with us. He is one of our senators. He fights for justice each and every day. I am going to ask Senator Gary Holder Winfield to come and say a few words. Go ahead, Gary. There's something wrong with us. There is something wrong with us. It's a child. I'm not safer. You're not safer. We're not safer because this child is in custody. No. Nope. There's something wrong in this country. I stood up for eight hours to defend the Trust Act, the change to the Trust Act that would make it better. Not so that we can go and do this. Connecticut was the first state in a nation that had a statewide trust act, not so that we can go and do this. There is something wrong in this country. 
I don't want to talk about Donald Trump because Trump isn't the problem here. The problem here is that we have lost our minds. We are putting children in custody. We are separating families. Something wrong with us. I was at the school on October 1st to greet the young people as they came to school. This young man should have been there. I am asking you that when we get this young man back, don't think the justice is done. When we get this young man back, that's only one part of this fight. That's right. And I want to be very clear. We back on. I want to be very clear about this because most of us in my position won't say this. What that young lady said, abolish ICE, that's exactly what we should do. <laughs> because ICE was created to do exactly what we see happening right now. And so when we get that young man back, that is one step, but the next step, we'll be here for somebody else, unfortunately, but the next real step is to make that happen. And so I'm just happy to be here with you today so that I can say to you, I will stand with you when we defend the next version of the bill and when we work towards abolishing that problem that we have in this nation. And I hope that every single one of you use every opportunity that you have to speak about not only this young man, but the issue that we have in this nation that allows us to think it's okay to rip families apart. That allows us to think it's okay to put children in custody and call that 